Right, installation of uh, our POS A pneumatic positioner. All right, we've got the positioner here, brackets. All right, attach the brackets according to the size of the actuator. Now, get to the positioner. So again, don't tighten these till everything's installed. I'm sure the um, the spigot drops into the top of the actuator. Uh, after everything's installed, just tighten up all the all the bolts. All right, so that's the position I bolted to your actuator, uh, and now we'll um, uh, plumb up the positioner. All right, the first thing we'll do, we'll install a filter. Now, make sure the filter direction is correct before installation. Now the, our position has come uh, configured to drive uh, our actuators counterclockwise. Uh, that's how our, our actuators turn. Um, if you have an actuator that turns clockwise, you'll have to change the cam arrangement in the inside the positioner.
Uh, I've previously installed those fittings there. Alright, that's uh, the position that's installed with the airlines. Um, and now we'll um, apply the air and calibrate the, the positioner. Now I've applied the air. Remove the uh, top cover. There's a manual test screw, which is um, this one right here. Do not touch one with the red lockout paint. So by turning this anti-clockwise, you can test operation without a signal. As you can see, it uh, moved through its 90 degrees. Now we'll test using our signal generator. Now apply a, uh, the positive signal to the terminus, terminal furthest to the left and the negative to the one next to it, it's labelled uh, as uh, EP on the, on the board. Now, I've attached my signal generator. I've set it up to, to give me a signal of four, million, 4 to 20 milliamp signal. Turn it on. Showing four milliamp. And as I As you can see, that's in the that opposition, or it's turned 90 degrees. 
go back down. Now it shows four milliamp on here, but on the indicator and on the cam, it's not all the way home. So we need to adjust that. Uh, to adjust that, you just wind down the adjuster till the cam is um, sitting right on the zero mark there. Okay, we'll test it through again. As you can see, the indicator on top, and now I'll bring it to the 12 milliamp, which is 50 degrees or 50 percent. If you look at the indicator, it shows that's in the middle, showing right there. Twenty twenty milliamp signal. If you look at the indicator, the cam is right on the ninety degree or hundred percent mark. Another way to show you is through the indicator on the lid. So that's 20 milliamp, shows 100%. 12 milliamp shows 50% 50 or close to. 4 milliamp is zero degrees. And um, when you lose signal, the valve should return to its zero degrees if it's not at that position already.